So Don just posted he he broke up. Tarzan says, "Okay, so can I come over now?" This post sh this post showcases exactly why I don't want anything to do with you anymore. No, you're never invited over again. Take care, Tarzan. Damn. We got drama. And I want drama. Nah, uh, like, dude, what is the drama? Like, they broke up. I don't. Uh, there's no drama. I don't know why so many people care about about that. That was like insane. Like, how many views did that post have? Forty million views on a breakup post like that is insane i didn't even know those 40 million people that knew who these people were <laughs> like that's crazy i respect it bro makes me kind of feel like maybe league is dead but maybe league drama will be alive i've look i'm old i've been in a lot of relationships at this point in my life i don't think streaming is a thing where you have to choose to be in a relationship or stream like maybe if you're doing some like super high effort streams where you're actually like putting 12 14 hours a day into each and every stream maybe but if you're a league streamer like league streaming if you're if you're playing is even less work than co-streaming like i'm telling you i've done both turning on your stream and playing solo queue is not some job that is like this career that takes so much time that you can't have a partner while doing it. It's not, it's not that bro. So like, I don't believe that people break up because like of like an, an inability to compromise. I mean, I think it's no different than having like a normal job. I think that the reason why people break up is because one person doesn't like the other person that much anymore. That That's just kind of how uh, that's kind of relationships, bro. Like I, like I, I hate to, and that, and people don't like saying that to another person it really like sucks to break up with somebody and be like i just don't like you in that way anymore or i'm like just not in love with you or i don't see a future but that's why people break up bro it's like that people break up because one person is just not in love with the other person anymore you fell out of love with her it's just a spin and people are buying it but it's so weird that anyone like it just makes me feel when i saw that post and everyone's reaction it's like how incel is the league community actually like it actually feels like people have just never been in a relationship ever with the way people are like responding. Like they try to make a relationship like something else. Like that's valid. It's like, you got to choose your career or like a relationship. You can't have both. It's like, what the f What do you think streaming is bro? Like I've, you guys have seen me stream and be a pro player for literally like my entire adult life. And like, it's never been, I've never broken up with somebody because of, of my career. There's no reason. I mean, look, if, if it may be, if Dantes was like Kai Sinat, and he was doing these really high effort streams where he's he's got a lot of planning. He's bringing in like celebrities. There's like a huge thing every single time. He's doing like in 170 hour streams where he's where he's sleeping on. Like he's he's being that type of streamer. Maybe then you can't be in a relationship because you're so dedicated. You're doing so much around it. But if you're league streaming or you're playing like solo queue on stream, you're co streaming or something like that. Like, I mean, how many hours is 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 he streaming a month? Johnson. 262 so that's like about eight hours a day so that's pretty much just what a normal job would be eight hours a day and the thing about it is like the thing about streaming is that obviously there's other things that go into it if you're planning streams heavily but if you're streaming eight hours a day even if somebody else is working eight hours a day you don't have to like get ready for work travel to work you know be at work then like the lunch break is during your work day then you have to come back get right like you don't have all that extra bullshit so if you're doing eight hours a day like you're gonna have other time in your day like how how much time are you up 16 hours a day 17 hours a day for most people like you have time to have a relationship and be a streamer like it is very very possible i'm telling you this if you're a streamer and a girl is the absolute love of your life and you see a future and you want to like be together with them forever you want to get married have kids all that stuff you can easily figure out a way where you can be a streamer and also have a relationship if it's if it's actually that important and it doesn't have to be a prioritized one or the other i'm an accountant and i still wake up and gamble at league at 5 a.m before yeah so like the time that like so if you had a relationship and that was more of a priority to you than your crippling gambling addiction then you would just wake up at 5 a.m and spend time with her instead you know me let's get into it bro let's cover the dantes versus tarzan drama wait was there any new updates to the dantes versus tarzan drama because i know that they did uh like they did long streams but i'm pretty sure pretty sure okay we'll, we'll start with the first tweets we'll just do it mainly off twitter right here's tarzan's twitter oh he made a kill shot with dantes as his logo kill shot soon and he's putting a nuke okay maybe there's gonna be another update okay so pretty much what happened was this i mean the the way that this started between dantes and tarzan 
was because of this tweet from Tarzan right here. And what ended up happening, he's he's blocked now, or he blocked, they blocked each other, whatever. What ended up happening is Dantes broke up with his girlfriend, and Tarzan said, so can I come over now? Which was a shot that he was taking at Dantes because of a interaction that he had with Dantes' girlfriend, where she told him, um, at the time she told him, oh, you can't come to my house anymore. And then he was like, oh, it's Dantes' house. They had like some argument over something random, whatever. And the the argument got heated and this was said to each other. So Tarzan, after they broke up, says, so can I come over now? Or so so I can come over now? Whatever, the same thing. He's he's essentially just kind of like poking fun at her, poking fun at him. Um, and Dantes took offense to this. He said, uh, this post showcases exactly why I don't want anything to do with you anymore. No, you're never invited over again. Take care, Tarzan. So they had this. Then Dantes on his Twitter said this. So pretty much Dantes, well, actually, it's, it's more on Tarzan then. So this happens. Tarzan gets offended because he's like, oh, you know, Dantes is trying to make me look like a clown. So he quote retweeted that. And he said, oh, okay, 29-year-old man child will have some fun today on stream. So because of this response from Dantes where he ratios Tarzan, Tarzan gets really upset and he decides to go scorched earth on stream. So he has a stream where he tries to reveal things that Dantes um, did to him. Look, I'll tell you from my perspective, I've had my own beef with Tarzan before. I don't know like how, like it seems so hard. If you're a League of Legends person, if you're a League of Legends personality, it seems almost impossible to have a long-term friendship with Tarzan because if there's any perceived slight at him, he is just going to try to like nuke everything, which is what he tried to do with me, right? So like, I don't know how to exactly be friends with Tarzan because the like, unless you're just a complete doormat and you let him just fucking walk over you nonstop, if you ever say anything that could even be perceived as a slight towards him, he's just gonna like like try to try to ruin your life, literally. Like that'll be his attempt. That's his first like, oh, this guy did something wrong to me. Okay, I'm gonna try to try to ruin his life. Same thing happened with me when I was friends with Tarzan. I was friends with him for years. Also, I was I was somebody who helped Tarzan a lot at the beginning of his career. I hosted him a ton in like season six when he had just started streaming. Um, I even like helped him with his YouTube channel. I let him like coach me on stream. Um, and that was like one of his biggest videos at the time. So we were good for a long period of time. What happened between me and Tarzan was that I was on an episode of the crackdown and somebody asked about Malice and Tarzan because Malice and Tarzan were claiming like people were saying Malice was the best jungler in Europe. Um, and he was not playing in LEC at the time and, Tar and people were saying like, is Tarzan the best jungler in NA? Like they would claim it themselves. Um, but he wasn't playing in LCS. And I said something, uh, like if you don't actually play in the LCS or the LEC, you can't be considered the best jungler in the entire region. Competitive play is a completely different thing. Like to be the best jungler or the best player in a region, it's done based off playing in the, in the, the premier competition of your region. And it's not based off like how you do in solo queue. Like, I don't think Magic Felix is a better player than Caps just because he's like higher rated in solo queue when they both play a lot. That was my, that was my take. And because of that, he decided to like try to ruin my career, right? Like that was, that was the attempt. And obviously at the point, like number one, trying to claim that I'm like a boosted player is pretty retarded to most people, right? Because I was a pro player. I played pro, I played challenger games on stream. I, when this drama happened, I got challenger. I'm fucking, I'm in my mid thirties, bro. I'm still getting challenger now. So kind of claiming that it's like, I can't get to that rank was, was an ill thing to do. But like the attempt was clearly for him to ruin my career, right? And and even to this day, like the thing is there's really low IQ people in the league community. And even to this day, I'll still see people like type that. It's like, wait, like, wait, Dom's good in this Dantos tournament. I thought he was ELO boosted. And it's like, okay, bro. Like, uh, like that is something that will, that will probably be associated with my name for, for probably the rest of my career. And like the whole idea, obviously for people that were in the know, for the people that were like on the fence, as soon as I got challenger back most, multiple times, it was like, okay, like obviously he's a challenger. And for anyone with a brain that had watched me play, it's like, of course I'm a challenger level player. Like I still am to this day. The attempt is still to ruin my entire life off that. So like the fact that you can be friends with somebody like Tarzan and one of these things can happen and he can instantly like go to like the mode of like trying to like ruin everything, I think is something that he just has to work on because most of his friendships end up with like this, right? Like most of his friendships end up with like, and these are people that he's spent time with in real life. 
most of his friendships turn turn up like this and i don't think that it's like everyone doing things to tarzan i think that tarzan literally has something with him where if you do anything that like he thinks disrespects him at all even if it's like not something disrespectful like that take is something that i would have had to his face like the take that i had for example where i was like you know like the best players are determined in the region by competitive play and not solo queue i would have said that to his face obviously i fucking believe that i'm a former pro player like i wouldn't have went pro if i thought that me being good in solo queue had already accomplished everything the reason why i wanted to go pro is because i was like damn that's where i could prove like i'm the fucking best or something you know like that's what i wanted to do so anyways tarzan goes on stream he goes scorched earth he starts revealing a bunch of information then we have this things Dantes did uh to me while his friend so he goes scorched earth he just reveals things about Dantes. um and I guess not really Dante's relationship, but he reveals things about Dante's. I mean, none of it seemed super bad. I guess the main thing that he revealed during this, because I already watched it, was that Dante's used their friendship as a bargaining chip to try to figure out what Tarzan was going to say about his girlfriend at the time. So Tarzan was was threatening to like reveal things about Dante's girlfriend. And Dante's was like, bro, like this is up if you say anything about this on stream i will not be your friend anymore and that's what um tarzan revealed he called it like blackmailing which to me it's like i i, I don't know what don is supposed to do in that situation but like even the, the original thing of like starting to just air things on stream is is pretty strange anyways donda says dear tarzan genuinely hilarious to this day uh genuinely hilarious how you still to this day try to play victim if you want to sit here and share some things about me then i'll respond in kind i know that you're probably sitting here reading this post from your your alt account you know the one you'd use to stalk all your exes and people that you had blocked remember that you'd sit there and ask laura in brazil about every streamer uh, i slash her had a problem with and then after you and her had a disagreement you sat there and dm'd almost every single one of them uh the things that she would tell you in confidence you messaged people you hadn't talked to in six months just to shit on her and then sat there and publicly humiliated her out of nothing but malice in your heart we are essaying, bro. I hate to be that guy, Tarzan, but you aren't a vic aren't the victim in this situation. There's a reason why at 29 years old, you can barely even have a handful of people that you can call friends because you always show your true colors that you are at heart a bad person. Like I don't I don't know if Tarzan's a bad person, but I definitely think he has like a big flaw, the one that I just mentioned, and I think that's what prevents him from having like relationships, bro. Like if you have that flaw, if any perceived like there's going to be times where there's going to be like perceived slights right like it'll happen all the fucking time in calls that i'm in with with people that, that that you know i'm friends with like you have to be able to laugh those off at some point and it can't always be that like anything that happens to you is this huge deal where like the person needs to apologize and like all this stuff like and you can't take that but then at the same time like belittle other people you know uh, there's a reason why all your previous friendships failed and a reason why your streaming friendships never last apart from uh with tyler one that keeps his distance from you let's not comment about the fact that you'd even tell me privately about how you think he's washed up nowadays and that he that wouldn't be too nice to leak now would it you stockpile information against people keep it in your arsenal and the second things go sour you just use it all um like it's some kind of ammunition this is exactly what my experience was uh you have no respect for anyone truly i hate that i was the kind of man that still knowing all that gave you the benefit of the doubt and allowed myself to get somewhat close to you even with hundreds of people telling me to stay away the reason why i'm willing to go full scorched earth now is because it took a relationship where my partner truly saw me for me and i was able to really trust uh to realize that dealing with disgusting people like you constantly is something that i just won't do anymore when you sit here alone tonight and you're staring at the comments just ask yourself one thing when you told me in confidence things regarding your life that i ever once used it against you i hope that when you stare at the ceiling tonight you come to the true realization behind why the people left in your life are your parents the only people left in your life are your parents take care and i guess there's a screenshot and the point of it is supposed to be he didn't talk to karis by for six months and then as soon as stuff happened with um laura whatever laura like blocked him which is Dantas's girlfriend then tarzan reached out again and was like trying to like just being like oh yeah you were right or you weren't wrong she btfo'd you in private like just trying to get karis my on his side against laura so that's pretty much it bro there was more back and forth i haven't got into the the more back and forth but that's the gist of it bro that's the gist of it maybe there'll be more stuff that comes out today this is the 
This is the drama right now in the league community. Five yeah, I actually listened to, to, to Dr. K talk about that, about like narcissism in the streaming community. And one thing he said that I thought was really interesting, like, by the way, I think that guy is actually extremely smart. I really like Dr. K. One thing he said that he believes that streamers become narcissistic as a defense mechanism, because it's very hard to like survive in the streaming space without some degree of narcissism. And I think that that's actually the best take anyone's had at it because most people just kind of view it as like these people have like a character flaw like streamers are just narcissists and that's why they become streamers and it's very like reductive in the like in the way it's just a way to like condemn a bunch of people but i think that that like some like developing some level of narcissism is the only way that you can deal with like mass hate and not get like deeply f***ed up like you have to like create some separation in a way but I, th I thought that that like made a lot of sense to um to me about like why streamers are like narcissistic because i don't think it's like a normal job and obviously like just the way that you interact with people is on such a ridiculously like broad scale it just feels super weird all right next game